video is about soft proofing your image. And the reason why we do this because a lot of time um, monitors are, or the colors in the monitors can be shifted depending on how you use it. Uh, for example, if you play a lot of video games and you go and print something immediately after, um, that color might not be accurate and your prints will be quite off. So this is to avoid that situation. Um, so for me at home, I have a dedicated uh, computer that prints because that, that computer, the monitor has been calibrated. Uh, I calibrated even to the ink. Um, so I know that whatever I see in the monitor is probably 99% accurate and it will come out ex almost exactly like the monitor okay so in most cases where your monitor is not calibrated you might need to make some changes and this is how you would do it okay so first go to view uh, turn off proof colors so if you notice it's a little duller and then once I turn proof color on it's a little more contrast just a very slight so that tells me that this image um, it's okay, it's not too bad. So next thing you want to do is go to custom and then go to device to simulate. And if you don't have the paper uh, selection here, you can just select Adobe RGB, uh, but that's not, that's not very precise. So ideally uh, look at your paper and the printer that you want to print. So for example, uh, if my printer is P600, uh, then I will go to Epson, find the printer P600, and then it, it will say some driver or paper driver that you can download and upload into Photoshop. So for this, uh, if my paper was metallic photo glossy uh, and I'm printing to Epson P600, then I would select this one. So just say this is and you know the color shifted a little bit. Okay, so make sure it's relative and then black point is selected. So display option on your screen, you want to simulate the black. See that it's suddenly turned dull. So you can either simulate the black or simulate the ink. Okay, so I would just simulate the paper. Um, and then click OK. See, so you notice that it's shifted already. So if I turn the soft proofing off, the white is so much brighter. So that's telling me that potentially if I print, I'm going to have this very dull wash and the background is um, it's a bit blue. So how can I get my image to look like it is on the screen like this. So the whites is quite white, it's a little bit vibrant, and it's not as dull. Okay, so this is a few options. So turn the proof back on, and you might have to click back and forth so you know what you do. So I want you to use um, a few things. So brightness and contrast is one of the easier one. So I would make it quite bright. That's close to what I saw before I turned on, and maybe add the contrast just slightly. Okay, and then create a file folder called softproof. And then click on this layer and drag that into that. So I know that this printer, uh, in order, <clears throat> this printer and this paper would produce kind of like a slight blue tone okay so I'm gonna see and turn this off and I'm gonna turn this off to see okay it's quite white kind of a bit warm turn back proof on and turn back this on so I'm almost there it's not as warm so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a photo filter and a warm photo filter okay so I think that's pretty close to what I see okay maybe a little bit too much so I'm gonna turn that off again and I'm gonna turn it off okay so it's a little warm down here but a bit blue up here 
So it turned back proof on. So, so the blue is lost here, so maybe that's too intense. Uh, so I'm going to go click the, make sure I, I click the layer photo filter and then bring the opacity down to slightly. So the blue starts showing up like what I wanted and the warm on the bottom. Okay, so it's kind of around there. Okay, so that's perfect. So I know, um, so I'm editing this. The soft proof just gives you an idea. If you print this paper, this will what it would look like. So you would probably have that example um, because you already, you should have already printed one without editing and make all the marks and then uh, from there you would add. So if your pictures was a little dull, you would add brightness and contrast to your image um, like this, brightness and contrast to your, to your image. If your picture is a bit too warm, then you add a blue filter. If your picture is too um, cool, then you add a warm filter, etc. Okay, so this is a soft proofing. Some images are more complicated than that, so you would need to add a lot of other layers. In that case, if you need to add too much, then I would say you need to calibrate your monitor. Okay, so here's a little bit, uh, just a short video on soft proofing.